Welcome, Tarnished. Please, sit down. Let me tell you a story. A story about a witch. And that witch's name was Rani. Alrighty then. Picture this, if you will. Rani the witch is a mysterious ghostly woman, seemingly inhabiting a body of a doll with four arms. She is in fact one of the demigods. Originally known as Lunar Princess Rani, she was the daughter of Radagon, a champion of the Golden Order, and Queen Renata, head of both the Carian royal family and Academy of Raya Lucaria. She had two older brothers, Radan and Rygard. Rani was also an Imperian, meaning she had the potential to one day succeed Queen Marika as the divine ruler of the lands between. The two fingers chose her as a potential successor and granted her a shadow by the name of Blaid to be her vessel. He was approved by Renala and was raised as a foster brother. Rani grew up playing with Blaid and they were often accompanied by Eiji, a troll blacksmith who served the Carian royals. Led by the hand of her mother Renala, young Rani would encounter her dark moon. What she beheld was cold, dark, and veiled in a cold mystery. Deep in the woods, she would also encounter a snowy crone, known simply as the Snow Witch, who would go on to become her secret mentor. She was an old witch, well versed in cold based sorceries, and she taught Rani to fear the dark moon as she imparted her cold sorcery. The full dark moon, cold and laden, would become Rani's sigil and symbol of her power and authority. At some point, Rani's father would abandon her mother in order to marry Queen Marika and assume the title of Second Elden Lord. Rani and her siblings were thus raised to demigod status by their new stepmother. Although the two fingers had chosen her as Marika's successor, Rani did not wish to be a puppet for the Great Will, and resented her Imperian fate, as she disagreed with the ways of the Golden Order. In order to escape it, Rani stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Malekith, the Black Blade, and through fearsome rite, imbued it to the blades of Numen assassins close to Queen Marika herself. She also gave a fragment to her brother Rikard as a last resort so he could kill Malekith if necessary. Rani plotted for the assassins to kill another individual while she simultaneously killed herself, slaying her own body while the other person died in spirit, thus freeing her from being an Empyrean. In what would become known as the Night of Black Knives, the assassins murdered Godwin the Golden, killing him in spirit, while Rani killed herself in body, transferring her spirit into a doll, said to be moulded after the image of her mentor, the Snow Witch. This marked the step siblings as the first demigod casualties in history. Rani's fate and her involvement in the plot remained largely unknown, by the denizens of the lands between. At some point after the Night of Black Knives, Queen Marika shattered the Elden Ring. Rani claimed a great rune, but appeared to have discarded it, and largely remained outside of the conflict. As a consequence of a dull body, Rani required extended periods of hibernation and withdrew from the world, hiding in the Carian Manor while her agents worked to bring about her plan of ridding the lands between of the influence of the Great Will, allowing her to pursue her divine ascension in her own terms. Long after the shattering, when the Tarnished return to the lands between, Rani hears of a Tarnished champion, hurtling about a spectral steed, gifted to him by Melena. Rani approached them at a sight of grace, asking if they indeed have the special steed. She then gave the tarnished the spirit calling bell, noting Turin's former master had entrusted her with giving it to the next owner. The tarnished champion, for their own purposes, makes their way into the Carian Manor and comes face to face with Rani once again, 
Rani accepts the tarnished and bids them to find a way into Nokron, Eternal City, hoping to claim its treasure, a weapon with which she could kill the two fingers who had chosen her as Imperian. The champion manages to find their way into Nokron and secures the city's treasure for Rani, whereupon she departs to Noxtella. The champion would find her there, and she compels the champion to rid her of the shadow sent by the two fingers to kill her. With the last shadow defeated, Rani rewards her champion with the keys to a chest containing a ring intended to be bestowed to her future consort, and achieves her goal of slaying the two fingers. Later on, the tarnished champion would find the ring and give it back to Rani, as she would take the tarnished champion as her new consort and grant him the great sword as a symbol of their union. She would reveal to him the full extent of her plan to succeed Queen Marika as god and usher in her age of the stars, removing herself far from the lands between to journey out into the cosmos, allowing its inhabitants to have free will over their own choices and live their lives without the interference of the greater will. After defeating the Elden Beast, the Tarnished is able to summon Rani and usher in her age as he chooses to do so. I will see you later, Tarnished, as I have more stories to tell of the lands between. If you do choose for me to tell you one, please let me know. That is all for now, and I will see you later, Tarnished.